Here's our second example of how to take a dot product. Now, there's two methods in which we can take the dot product. The first method is that a dot b is equal to the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between them. The second method is a dot b is equal to a sub x b sub x plus a sub y b sub y. Of course, since we're only working in the xy plane here, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, uh, we can go ahead and not add the third term, the a, the a sub z, b sub z. So what we're doing here is we're multiplying the x components and the y components together. Now, which of those two methods would you prefer to use in this case? Well, we're not given the angle between the two vectors, and we're not given the magnitude of the two vectors, but we are, in a way, given the components of the two vectors, the way this is drawn out, so the second way here would be the preferable way. For example, we can say that a, vector a, is equal to, looks like, 5 in the x direction uh, plus 5 in the y direction. I'm not given any unit, so that's fine. And here on the b vector, this is equal to, it looks like, 8 in the x direction and minus 4 in the y direction. And of course, I put one in there with a negative component, so you can see how that method works when you have negative components. All right, so we're going to use the second method. So that means that a dot b is equal to a sub x, and a sub x is 5, times b sub x, b sub x is 8, plus a sub y, which is 5, plus times b sub y, and b sub y is a negative 4, and indeed we put in the negative 4. So this is equal to 40 minus 20, which is equal to 20. So here you can see that a dot b is indeed equal to 20. Now, let's find the magnitude of these two vectors and let's find the angle between them to see if we can get the same result by using this method right here. All right, so what is the magnitude of A? The magnitude of A is simply equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared. So this is equal to the square root of uh, x component would be 5 squared plus y component would be 5 squared. That's 25 plus 25, which is 50. And the square root of 50 is 7.07. There we go. Now, let's do that for the b vector. The magnitude of the b vector is equal to the square root of b sub x squared plus b sub y squared which is equal to the square root of uh, x squared, that would be 8 squared, plus the y would be a minus 4 squared. Now here it looks like it doesn't matter if it's negative because we're squaring it anyway. So that would be 64 plus 16, that would be 80. So uh, 8 squared plus 4 squared equals, take the square root, and we get 8.94. 8 All right, so now we have the magnitudes. What about the angle? So I'm looking for this angle right here, which is the angle theta, which is the sum of this angle, let's call it phi sub a, and this angle right here, let's call it uh, phi sub b. So how do I find phi sub a and phi sub b? So when I add them together, I get theta. Well, I can use, of course, the inverse tangent. So I can say that theta sub a is equal to the inverse tangent of the opposite side over the adjacent side, like that. So here we can say that would be equal to 5 over 5, which means it's the arctangent of 1. Of course, that is equal to 45 degrees. And besides, we could have just looked at it and go, if the height is 5 and the width is 5, that's simply going to be a 45 degree angle. All right. Now, how about theta sub b? That's equal to the arctangent of the opposite side over the adjacent. So the opposite side would be this, which would be 4. Adjacent would be 8. That would be 4 over 8, or 1 half. So here we have to find the arctangent of 0.5. So arctangent, that would be 26.57 degrees. 26.57 degrees. So if we add them together, we can say theta is equal to the sum of those two, and that would be plus 45, and that would be 71.57 degrees. Okay, now we're ready to use this method here to find the dot product. So it's the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle between them, and let's see if we get the same result. So this would be equal to magnitude of A, which is 7.07, .07, times 
times the magnitude of B, which is 8.94, times the cosine of the angle between them, which is 71.57 degrees. Okay, let me go like this. Let's find out if we get the same answer. So we take the cosine of this, and then we multiply it times 8.94, and multiply it times 7.07, .07, and I get 19.98 or 19.99, close enough to 20. So this is equal to 20. Notice that I get the exact same result. So both methods work. And notice that if you use this method right here, where you multiply the x and the y components, and if a component is negative, that negative number goes in there to get the answer. And that's how you find the dot product.